All right, we're back at it with um, some another system test. So I removed this pulsation spot because I didn't really need it, and there's just micro just acting a little weird when the amplifier is connected to it. So I disconnected because it was causing false alarms. Silly little Chinese amplifier causing problems. Anyways, I just pulsations had in some of my older videos. Got it working again. It's connected to the uh, fire alarm system here. So I still have this heat detector, but if you notice, there's more wires coming from it. So we keep going. And then we reach this heat detector right here. So now we have two heat detectors. We still have the same pull station here. So right now I'm going to do a drill with the final arm. So I'm going to press the microbits logo and it'll kind of go into drill mode. So it won't start the alarm off right away. It'll chime and the strobe will blink. And then after a little while, I think it'll chime again. And then it'll go fire alarm, carbon monoxide alarm, it'll keep repeating like that. So here we go. So I'm going to activate the system twice, and I'm going to use this uh, piece of aluminum foil to set this new heat detector off. There we go. And the main update, so now when I reset the panel, it doesn't actually reset this micro bit, so it still remembers the voice message. So let the micro boot up. And now we'll pull the new pull station. So it does take a minute for it to silence when I hit the button because it's supposed to um, finish its cycle. I'm gonna silence this real quick. It's a little loud. For some reason, the speakers are making a squealy noise, but this amplifier is a little weird, so that's how it is. So now um, I'll uh, reset it here. And that'll be all for this system test. Thank you for watching.